Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Welcome to the Hot Hustle Podcast with Hype. This is episode 74. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Special guest in the building. I don't even know how many times this nigga has been on the podcast, but introduce yourself to the audience. New listeners every day, B. Hey, man. It's your boy, Big Dan, from the BTG Podcast, Bridging the Gap Podcast. You know, we are on all streaming, streaming platforms. You know, uh, shout out to my man, Hype. You know, yo, whenever he hit me, I'm here. You know what I'm saying? That's my guy. So let's go. I'm, re- I'm ready. Hashtag I'm ready. Philly support Philly situation here. Well, here we go. Time for the rundown. Get comfortable, y'all. Shout out to everybody who did come out to the How to Hustle live show. Shouts out to everybody who came out, show support, bought a ticket. Whether you showed up or you didn't show up, we appreciate the love. Um, We will be doing How to Hustle live show again. Uh, Stay tuned for the announcement, but it won't happen for the next couple of months. Now, E-Block Radio Network every Monday, 2 p.m. on the E-Block Radio Network. GFT Radio Network, 2 p.m. every Tuesday. Wednesdays is 216 to blend AM, 8 AM, 8 PM Eastern Standard Time. WTNUPhilly.com on Thursday at 1230s. I say podcast radio network at 10 AM on Fridays. And then we close the week out with the THC Media at 10 AM on Saturday. We still look at the fill in that Sunday slot. Get at me if you know about a situation out there. Uh, Custom Hustle World. Custom Hustle World is my clothing line on Instagram at Custom Hustle World. Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. Custom jerseys, jackets. We now had the hockey jerseys. We now had the basketball jerseys. You know, we've been had the baseball jerseys, but we got the sweatsuits, the jackets, the t-shirts. Get at me if you need it customized. And also H2H Cleaning. That is at H2H Cleaning on Instagram only. It is a tri-state area situation, but if you make it worth my while, I will slide. Now, also, uh, you know, how to hustle seminars can still be purchased. You know what I'm saying? How to hustle seminars. Put you on game of how this whole situation works. Now, shout out to my man, Big Dan, from the BTG Podcast. Here we go. Episode 74. Should we all be able to vote? Fuck no. Do we need to have, like, a criteria for voting? Should we have a questionnaire? Should we have, like, a Q&A? Should you have to talk to somebody? Like, should you just turn 18 to be able to vote? Talk to me, Dan. Nah, for one, I don't... 18 isn't even a, the, the right age for me that you should be in the right state of mind to even fucking vote because you still haven't, your brain fully haven't, hasn't even developed yet and shit. Like, you haven't experienced shit in life. You shouldn't even, 18 is, is way too young for me. But um, <laughs> to the original question, I do not think just anybody should, be, should uh, have the right to vote. Um, you know, when it comes to voting, it's, it's all about picking the best person, you know, to lead the country forward, you know, you know what I'm saying, to do the do best for our country, you know what I'm saying? Um, people got their own agendas, and that's how it's a lot of motherfucking politicians. I mean, when we talking about voting, we ain't just talking about the president, right? You talking about all the way nah, we talking about it. we talking about it all. We talking city council, we talking that's chair people, saying. all of it. So you got too many people that have that are just put in position, you know, and have their own political agendas and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That's why we got shit set up the way we shut up now. Dog. Just recently in the last couple of years, well, I mean, in the last year, fucking lynching has become fucking a federal, I mean, uh, a federal hate crime and shit like that. Like, that's because we got the wrong I got, Somebody killed me when they told me that one. I heard that a couple months ago and I was like, what do you mean it just became a, like, <laughs> yeah, somebody killed me with that one. Like, come on, dog. We it's it, it it just became a law that fucking uh black people are allowed to wear their natural fucking hair at work. You know what I'm saying? That was mainly for like women and shit with like fros and shit like that. Like that. Why, why do we have to make that a law? You know what I'm saying? But that's because you got motherfuckers put in position that was that's been put that's been put in position for years by racist motherfuckers because anybody's allowed to fucking vote. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, look at look. I mean, Biden ain't doing no better, but. Look how Trump got in there. You want to know why that fucking, how he got in? Because you had a bunch of motherfuckers that should have voted that didn't vote. You know what I'm saying? But you got a bunch of racist motherfuckers out here that can just go out there, press that button, and it's a lot more of them than we thought of. You know what I'm saying? It needs to be some, I, I, I honestly, I don't know how they can do it, but it needs to be some some sort of vetting process. You know what I'm saying? to make sure that when a person's going out and casting their vote, they trying to cast it for like, you know, the betterment of, of America, you know what I'm saying? Not the betterment betterment of whatever they fucking agenda is. 
Like it, it's right. fucking crazy. All right, so I got, a, got a lot of shit to say on what you just gave me. Uh, this is why mm-hmm. I called you because I knew this was your topic. Hey, <laughs> um, oh. um, one, like I said, we talk about voting for everything. So mm-hmm. I think it should be some type of vetting process. It should be some questionnaire or something. Because like you said, 18, a lot of things, like people mature at different stages. Some mm-hmm. people, if you've been taken care of, a little brother, little sister or whatever, you might have had a baby already. Some people at 18 be mature as hell, but that's not a blanket statement for everybody. At 18, mm-hmm. like you said, yeah, you still got way too much play in you. So I don't right. think you should be able to be making decisions that will affect everybody and us all. I remember before I had my oldest daughter, my job had voting on for the union about uh, the health care. It was like, should we be paying the same amount? Should me, for argument's sake, should me and you pay the same amount? You got three kids. I don't got no kids. Should we be paying the same shit for insurance? I'm like, fuck no, I ain't got no kids. Why would we be paying the same thing for insurance? Then we fast forward years later and I got two kids and a wife and it's like, damn, I wish I could get them on my insurance. But when you right. put me in a situation where that's not the stage of life that I'm in, nah, I vote against it. So mm-hmm. like you said now with the whole voting situation, like you got to have some type of criteria for people to be voting because you can't just have these 25,000 people, let's just say, these 25,000 going to college, that's airheads. They got out Mm -hmm. because of social promotion. They got out just because it was time to get them out of the school. But now we put 25,000 in this state, 25,000 in this state, 25,000 in that state. Now we got too many people voting who don't know no shit about shit. Also, why did we all vote for Obama? We don't know shit about what his policies was. We all voted for him because he was black. 100%. Not saying that, not saying he did a bad job or none of that. I ain't, we ain't going into that. No, one hundred percent. The the black vote went through the roof when he when he went over there. Blacks, it was all about, about he's dog, black. Motherfuckers, what dog? When, when Obama when Obama got in, motherfuckers ain't even know, never heard about him. Never Happy. didn't know where he was from. Didn't know if what he was for. If he was pro life, <laughs> pro choice, pro fucking nah, gun, yeah, pro he was fucking black. abortion. We had no clue. <laughs> Fuck his policies. He's black, and we getting in, getting in there. But once again, you know that's that's part of kind of the problem and shit right now. Look at our but last this election. Is, this is look, but this one. That's, that's where I'm going. Go this is look why at the we last got election. It. This we is why you win. always got to educate yourself on what the situation is. You can't just look at the situation and say, I'm a Democrat. I'm never voting Republican in my life. Because you right. don't know if this Republican might be saying all the stuff that you relate to and like. You exactly. don't know if you're a Republican that this Democrat can be doing a vice versa situation. You can be saying all the stuff that you agree with and all the shit that you want to go with. Now, yeah. once we got to the Trump and Biden situation now, this is the shit that I hate when niggas say Biden is doing a bad job. Trump gave us the stimulus money and that's what niggas base it off. I got the 1200 I got like, what was the other one? Like 600 800 something. I don't remember. I got two checks from this boy. I'm cool. Fuck that. They start lynching niggas. They start lynching people again, which is why they came up with the lynching mm-hmm. is illegal thing. They yeah. had the whole George Floyd, Amaya Arbery, uh, Breonna Taylor. All of those different situations start happening back to back to back to back. But hey, look, take this $1,200. Don't worry about none of that that's going on. So mm-hmm. now you got niggas saying like, what Kamala Harris doing? It's like you can't make you can't just come in and make laws and say, "Hey, I'm gonna get all the black people reparations." So basically, well, niggas, look, basically niggas be looking at it. it they be looking at it like if I'm not getting, if my check didn't get an extra whatever, then you doing a bad job. <laughs> like, right. well, that's not what well, it see, is. See, with, and this even even to touch on what you were saying, like when Obama was in here, majority of the black people that say that Obama ain't do shit. They, oh, he ain't do nothing for the black community. He ain't do this. He ain't do that. Here's my thing. It don't work that way. When you get elected, you can't just walk into the office and say, all right, I'm going to write this up. All right, every black mm-hmm. person getting reparations. Take this. <laughs> I'm going to write this up. Every low-income family in the projects now gets an extra $1,000. Huh? Take that. Happy. Like, it don't work that way. If you if you, if you you even listen to like a lot of the interviews that he's doing now, like you know, post his presidency and shit, he's t- like, dog, he's trying to he tried to put a lot of shit in place, but all that shit got blocked. All uh, uh, the shit that he was trying to do and the shit that he wanted to try to do for you know low low income black communities and shit like that, they blocked it. Like, come on, people. <laughs> yeah, if you don't, if you some don't have a house, if you don't have a house, you can't get none of that stuff too. Yeah. Some of you, some of the Republicans fucking uh, tried to block the lynching bill. 
Like, what? You don't... <laughs> How are you trying to block a bill that's making lynching a fe- You don't think that that should be a federal hate crime? Because it's only happening to, bl- happening to black people. But as soon as oh. some Asian... As soon as some Asian shit go on, it's, oh, nah, nah, get that in there. No Asian hate. You know what I'm saying? that If you heard of Asian, it's hate crime. Meanwhile, we, we, meanwhile, it's three fucking Republicans out there <laughs> that said that, nah, that lynching is fine. <laughs> it's not a problem. Lynching is fine. Hang those niggas. Janu- after January 6th with the whole insurrection situation, you had them niggas still saying, nah, everything's cool. We don't need to. <laughs> like, like they still was riding with the ball. <laughs> like, uh, let it have a bit. Let 10,000 niggas try and store in the capital. <laughs> they'd have, they'd, have they'd, have dropped, they'd have dropped the bomb on that motherfucker, dog. They would have they would have blew up the capital before they allowed us to storm that motherfucker. Copy that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But let's get back to the voting shit. So in America, as soon as you turn 18, you're allowed to go ahead and now voice your opinion, cast your vote for anything president mayor you know any 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 fucking vote that come out here now council like, congressman yeah here's, all of it here's the thing when you're coming at 18 you talking about might be still possibly still in high school or freshly coming out of high school you have not experienced anything that the country america has to give to you all you pretty much is going to be doing is voting for whoever the fuck your parents vote for so mm-hmm. now you still got pockets of uh, uh, spots in America. I'm a truck driver and I drive through them because I'm telling you right now, if you ever drive through McCungie, Pennsylvania, it's Confederate mm-hmm. flag every fucking where. I never stop in McCungie. You know, we was riding through a we was riding through a joint yesterday. I said they got a Trump 2020 flag on their joint, which means they've had this joint up since no, 2019. Exactly. And you ride around <laughs> and you see that there's still pockets in America that's extremely fucking racist. So what's gonna happen with those fresh out of high school 18-year-olds? They're gonna go the exact same way that their racist parents has been going. They're not gonna be able to form their own opinion in opinion. Because in my mind, racism is taught. You ain't born racist. That shit is taught. You taught you taught that shit from being around motherfuckers and and, sh- and seeing how they move. Yeah, I think okay. I think all of that I think all of that stuff be about what you get brought up around, what you get exposed to. Yeah. So if, fucking if, you, if you expose just like we was just talking offline and you just said your man ain't know what a platter was. Like, mm-hmm. If you're not exposed to the hood where niggas got platters every day, you won't know nothing about that. Exactly. <laughs> like, Exactly. But whatever you're exposed to is what gets it's like the subliminal messaging that you just get your whole life. That's why you always think about the person that gets chaos their whole life. They I think know. chaos is what it's supposed to look like. Now, now, now that person, for example, that's my guy. He's a good dude. The person I was telling you about. Prior to him coming down to the hood, and this wasn't when I was living up here in the county, he used to come and holler at me on Bridge Street in the mix. Like he would like, and he was amazed. He was like, even though it was hood and shit down there, he's like, dude, it's not what I thought it was. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, they, when they see, like, where he from, he not exposed, it's not that many black people in his area, and the black people that is are, they they like them, you know what I'm saying? They, have, they haven't been exposed to what's going on down here. So all they fucking see is the shit from what's going on on TV. He think that my neighborhood is like the wire, somebody getting shot every two minutes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So... He come down there and it's and he now he has an ex, a whole different opinion on what the hood is and what in general black people is. You know what I'm saying? So and now he's he coming to all my family functions. Like, you know what I mean, like me and him had a conversation. He was like, Dan, I've never had a roach in my house. I don't know, like, that's not a thing. Like, <laughs> like I've never we we like I've never seen mice in the house. Like, I've only seen mice like out in the field. I didn't know that mice like like shit like that. Like he was that type of like it's, and I've been up in his neighborhood. He took me to one of their little bars and I told him, I said, dog, this ain't my scene. We got rolled. Like, because I'm getting them looks. I know them looks. <laughs> See, this is what I was about to touch. It's like you're saying, like, even it's not even just the racist people, it's ignorance. It's ignorance. not even just, yeah, it's not even just racism, it's flat ignorance to the mm-hmm. situation. But they, and that's like the I thing. Say, a lot they 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 might not be racist, but your ignorance comes off as racism. No, no, no. I'm not I'm not even just talking yeah. about them the one situation because like we can right. you could take these situations to everybody. It's not just a black oh, yeah. white thing. This is everybody. If you 18 and uh Mexican, 18 and you're 
Chinese, Asian, whatever the different situation is. Like I'm talking this for everybody. Um, mm -hmm. It's the ignorance of the situation because, like I said, you don't even do your homework on these different people to see why is he, what platform is he running on, what is the policies that he's on. Like you said, the whole pro life, pro choice is that's the hot topic right now. Like you don't know what they think about that if you ain't looking at it. If you just went, he Democrat, I'm Democrat. That's where I'm going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You got to be really paying attention to this stuff and really saying, like, who's standing on what and who's about what. Like, and that's, I don't think nobody's doing that at 18, at 19. I know niggas ain't doing it at 45. It's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a million fucking people out here that sick, old motherfuckers that, just, dog, if you, you got to think about it. People is being bought up. You, if you raised as a Democrat, nine times out of 10, you're going to be voting Democrat if you don't have the brain to try to figure some shit out. A lot of mm -hmm. people don't give a fuck about politics. They don't want to know what's going on. All they know is I'm getting my paycheck every week and this ain't affecting my paycheck. So, you know, we was raised Democrat. That's Look at how we got, uh, like that's how we, had, we got what we got now is everybody worrying about just their situation and the young mm -hmm. girl across the street needs some help. The little girl yeah. across around the corner needs some help. And everybody's so stuck into this is what my lane is. Like I said, I got that 1200 so now I'm doing better. I got that 800 now I'm doing better. So I'm all for whatever got me the little extra instead of being about what make us and our whole situation better. This is why we is in the situation that we're in is because ain't yeah. nobody worrying about the whole situation. Everybody is tunnel vision on just self. Just look at the Joe Biden situation. Majority of the people out there that voted for Joe Biden voted for Joe Biden on the strength of that he was Obama's vice president. Like that's and that he it. just wasn't Trump, yeah. And, and he wasn't Trump. You was, but in reality, all you was really doing was voting for the lesser of the two evils. Both of them had some got some dumb shit with them. Look at the fucking look at the um the clips that's coming up now because Joe Biden's son got uh phone got hacked and the video came out of him with all the crack and all this shit like that. I don't know if you saw that, but I see that one, nah. Oh, nigga, damn. Dude, oh yeah, nah, nigga. All they posting <laughs> up all Joe because you know Joe Biden was heavy drug boy back when the crack when the crack wave yeah. was hitting crazy back in the day. Him, Hillary Clinton, all them. We super predators, and if you get this much amount of crack, you should go to jail forever. But now your son is over here on his his iPhone got stolen or leaked or whatever. He got videos of him. With naked bitches and he naked and it's they weighing up the crack they, they got they got two grams of crack over there 20 I grams mean, of crack like you know what i'm saying but now but here's the thing now you go look some, at this motherfucker. it's always that hypocrisy and everything yeah but now you got now people was only seeing now because now all these old videos are so uh servicing of the crazy shit joe biden used to say now it's like damn like we voted for this nigga it's like yeah but that was there already if you would have looked but, you know what I'm saying? If we're not teaching our fucking kids that they got to pay attention, motherfuckers, oh, we're going to get the first black vice president, Kamala Harris, the female, this, then, the third. She was on some crazy shit, too. All these, all these dudes, she done got locked up for weed and yeah. all this shit back in the day. She was crazy with her shit, too. They all got some shit with them. The but that's why... The situation there, though, was like you said, it was the it was two bad the situations. It was either like, cut, like, off like, arm, cut off your arm or cut off your cut off your arm or cut off both legs. Which one you want to do? Exactly. <laughs> you know <what> I'm <laughs> like, but that's why we, it, it, for one, I feel like they really need to teach more political shit in high school. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, they used to just teach us about you know the judicial system, you know the three levels of government, all that shit. But what they need to really teach about is, it, you know, I think we spoke about this before. You know, like, like they teaching the wrong shit in schools. Yes, you, that, was 18, episode, that was an episode 18, we did allowed, before. At 18, I'm allowed to vote. And I and you are and America is allowing me to walk into a situation blind and just press a button. It's not, it's not cool. You need to have, I feel like it, like either you need to have to take a test, you need to have some type of prepping, some type, it needs to be some type of regulated system put in place to vet voters. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's crazy. You need to have some type of general knowledge about what's going on in the world if you should be to be able to vote, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? You now, have some granted, general knowledge about what's going on in your general vicinity and to your local situations before you can even get into those other ones. If you don't know what's going on in your zip code... That, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's you don't know what's going on in your idea. zip code, then you shouldn't be able to vote for the state. You might have to... You might have... It might be tears 
You know what I'm saying? Like you would start off your learning process with the local shit because that generally affects your surroundings. You start off, that might be, that. that's a smart fucking idea, man. They start off with they, with they local tier. Yeah, you know I mean, maybe from, you know, just councilman up the mayor, boom. Then from there, you can go governor, governors, senators, and, uh, you know what I mean? Judges, the whole nine. And then, you, you know, top level would be now presidency. But how do you, how do, you do that? How do you like, and then on top of that, you got to remember, it's still going to be a man-made system and set up by the government. So they this can is just- what I was about. This, is, this is where I'm going, is the problem with that whole situation is realistically, they got a monopoly on this whole thing and it's working just fine for them to continue to have either your ignorance, your ignorance grows up and just going to go with, like you said, because I can, I can tell you this from my own, my own, from me, Ma, who we voting for? I don't know nothing about none of these people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm keeping it 100,000% for you. The first time I've ever cast in my foot was to vote for Barack Obama. I'm being completely honest with you. See, that was the first time thing. I ever exercised my right to vote. See, this be my thing about, everybody has a choice to do whatever you want in the world. Mm -hmm. But my whole thing be, if you didn't vote, then you got to shut the fuck up. Exactly. You can't be the one complaining about uh, I didn't. Why is I this, that, or whatever happening? Because you, when you had a chance to say something, you chose to be quiet. So you exactly. should shut the fuck up. But Duh. the people who always be, and I ain't voting, my vote don't count, so you shouldn't have nothing to say. <laughs> you 100%. should be over there and quiet. Because not only did you listen. not only did you not educate yourself on the situation, you chose to sit this one out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's what I tell people. I, don't, I wasn't always on my shit. I wasn't always paying attention to shit like that. But as I realized, you know, shit. And like I said, Obama was my first vert, vote. I wasn't voting on no local shit that had anything to do with me. And it wasn't until I had a family member that actually got into uh, politics and shit. And me and him just was having general conversations and talking like that. Shout out to my cousin Jason and shit. Uh, you know, he's a councilman, you know, and he, he getting busy out there and he actually moving up in the world in the ladder, that po uh, political shit. But it wasn't until me and him started kicking it and him really giving me some game. And I'm like, yo, like, Damn, like all this shit going on. Then I had another homie that uh got into politics and shit with some local shit and following him. And I'm like, well, all right, let me pay attention to what's going on in the world because this shit is really affecting us. And I'm just out here. I walk in, vote. And then mind you, people go in there. It, when you go in there and vote for the people that don't know that hasn't vote, ever voted before, you can just go in there and click a button and all Democrats. <laughs> you oh, just vote. Listen. Yeah, so yeah, they, you they, all they changed it now. You got the whole little, you got to put it on on the ballot, stick it in there. Yeah, and all that, hold up, you could just walk in, back in the day. You could just walk in there, all you Democrats, could just walk in, all here. Democrats, all Republicans. I'm done. Yeah, uh, before, before we move on, now you threw out. You said my man's name was Councilman Jason. Jason Dawkins. All right, so look, shout out to Jason Dawkins. So look, this is a new thing we're doing here on the Hot Hustle Podcast. Well, hey, when you shout somebody out and you send them the episode. We must let them know that we only accept five stars. So after they listen to the episode, okay. we, they must hit us with a five-star review. We do not accept four. <laughs> All right? Copy that. Now, one joint down that I need to know, Dan, if you could change one law, what would that be? Or if you could put one law in or change something, put something in, what would your one joint be? Nigga, you should have sent me that yesterday. You can't drop. Oh, you know, okay. what, what did I hold up? See, what did I tell you? Cause you paid talent. Okay. When you become a professional, you must always be on your toes and ready. So this is why I'm gonna answer it first for you. I'll give you a second to get him saying. Go ahead. Nigga, because there's so much that need to be changed. That's why I, <laughs> go okay, ahead. you can throw me. I can let you I give you the leeway for two. We tight like that. So this is the one that I'm gonna go. Oh, no, I'm ready. Property, I'm ready. I'm ready now. Go ahead. Property you, you taxes. Go. Property taxes. If I own this property. Why do I then need to kick you something for me owning my own property? <laughs> well, mind you, that's just that's here. You know, that ain't in other places. That's here. That's a here thing. You know what I'm saying? Remember, so we, said, said, remember we said, remember we said we're, te we're tearing this situation where we have yeah. to start local. Here, mm -hmm. why am I paying you? <laughs> when Free I own game, everybody that don't know, go get you some property over there in another country. <laughs> Once it's paid off, it's paid off, and that's you. All that land. So you ain't, ain't got to be no property. Go get you some land somewhere else. So if shit get fucked up here, you can go the fuck over there. You know what I'm saying? I'm African. If shit gets fucked up here, it's all, it's been fucked up here since day one. 
System I mean, if, niggas, she get, if she gets fucked up here and you got, and we got to go. <laughs> we got to make, system a, niggas, and we gotta make they, a hasty retreat. <laughs> see, since the day them niggas showed up and you can't find something that's not lost. If my wife has a sandwich in the back of the refrigerator, it's not lost. She knows it's there. Mm-hmm. Since the mm-hmm. day them niggas drifted over here on the boat and went, yo, these niggas got all this land and they talking about it's for us. Let's kill these niggas and take it. Okay? Mm-hmm. Shit has never been cool over here. <laughs> but, mm-hmm. Property taxes and like these different business situations that we be having. If I came up with Custom Hustles logo, Custom Hustles name, and all of that, why am I paying you so that I own something that I created? Because <laughs> they got to get theirs. Because they got to get theirs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, the game is rigged. Now, because <laughs> I, I was trying to think of some shit that I could think of personally. I was looking worldly, but like you said, oh, I'm going to keep it local. Go- you could go I early if you want. Because uh, immediately <laughs> when you said it, the first thing came to my mind was how give to me two. some some. Give some, me two joints then, so you can give give me both of them. Give me two of them then. Go ahead. Okay, I got you. So the first one, and so the first one, actually, I'll give you. I'm, I'm gonna give you two off of the same joint because all right, cool. And mine has to do with um the the child support and family uh, court situation. So for one, <laughs> and you know, I've been trying to get niggas, uh, like, you know, the niggas, the niggas on my podcast, they don't have these problems. You know what I'm saying? So I've been trying to find podcast, somebody, What podcast exactly is that? I mean, you know, the Bridging the Gap podcast, you know, you know, if you want to go on any social media, you can find us on at BTG Podcast 215, all streaming platforms, YouTube, we everywhere. And on Xbox affiliates, you know, if you got the app, you know, we out there. Uh, you know, shout, shout out to, out my to the squad. You know, shout out to Uncle B and shout out to you know face. You know, we out here, we moving. But um, they don't have those child support issue problems, and they haven't dealt with that system like I have. But so for one, when you go down initially for your, uh, they need to change the laws of how it works when you go down and initially get on child support because there's no investigation to find out if you actually take care of your child. It's literally go down and check, go down. Ch- he, what should, give me your pay stubs. Give me this. Okay, dad, you make this. Mom, you make this. Dad, you gonna pay this. Mm-hmm. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I actually asked them that when I was there. When I first went down there, and this was 16 years ago, I said, well, how do y'all prove that I'm not taking care of my child? That I should have to pay child support? Oh, no, we, we just put this in place so that... Yeah, we, we, just don't, we don't have to. Make, <laughs> yeah, we, no, we just put this in place so that we make sure that you do. Now, with all, now, on the same token, a law needs to be changed as to how much should be paid out. Now, in my opinion, child support, some motherfucking, some bum ass niggas out there, some of you niggas need to be on child support. They mm-hmm. need to change the law on how, they, on how, on, on who should have to pay. The other law that needs to be changed with it is how much. Because here's the thing why is my daughter worth $8.50 a month? But Little John John that ain't got no job and you know he just stand on the corner all day. He only got to pay fifty dollars a month. Which child can be taken care of for fifty dollars a month? It's more so like that. I, I hear what you're saying completely. You know what I'm saying? That's all about. That's all about. I remember somebody telling me, "Yo, he trying to get me on his child support. I'm about to go get this gig at McDonald's for a month. That way they'll have me on paper for this. It's exactly. just basically a percentage. But exactly. Wow. So here's the thing." Now Some me because I because, because I don't want to be a bum ass nigga and I decided to step into a fucking career. So yes, now you you're penalized. Me, I, I'm being penalized <laughs> for that. Mm-hmm. So you tell me I gotta drop $850 a month, but because this nigga makes $750, he makes minimum wage, he only gotta kick out a half a man, and that's it. $50. Nigga, a pack of paper is $21 right now. Who you telling? All that shit like that. Child support expenses. I mean, child child care expenses. Child care, yeah. I just told you, got two seventy five a week for child care expenses right now. <laughs> yeah, that's got to be out of here. Thank God. You know what I'm saying? But dog, though, that right there, that shit touched home with me. And I and if and if any of y'all watching this, if y'all ever want to really have a, a good conversation about it, you know, you can DM me at you know Big Dan under uh, a Big Dan underscore FKD or hit me on the Bridging the Gap podcast and we'll set that conversation up. Because niggas are scared; they don't want to talk about this shit. I got two things that I want to touch on real quick before we switch this up. Uh, mm-hmm. One, like you said, if you're not doing shit for the kids, then I'm all for the child support. If you just absentee, you didn't want to do this, you ain't around and you ain't got shit for them, then yeah, you need to be paying child support. 100%. If the nigga is there and the nigga is taking care of his responsibilities and it's just not at your whim how you feel about it, that's a totally mm-hmm. different situation. Y'all need to sit down like adults and talk about that. And stop mm-hmm. using those kids, stop using those kids as weapons and pawns. Exactly. Um, 
something that y'all touched on now while we switch it up to go to the BTG podcast. Okay. Y'all last episode, y'all were talking about the clip where the guy has the McDonald's for his child. The girl Let's has go. how many? The girl had how many kids? She had Three four kids. kids. Four and her kids. stamps okay. and, and her stamps didn't come on to the eleventh. You got to make sure Happy. that's there. <laughs> so when y'all was talking about this on the live like two weeks ago, I was trying to get in the comments, but my food came. It was time to <laughs> pray. I got threw off. You know what I'm saying? Right. So this is why we brought it up now. Okay. The girl who y'all had called then, mm-hmm. this is what I was trying to say in the comments was, I totally got what she was saying. What she was saying was, you show up with the one burger and fries for your son, daughter, what have you, and they got three other siblings. Now, if you let young boy eat this shit in the car now, she's saying, fill the bur- think about it from the aspect of your child. Now your child has to go in here with his siblings. They're not your kids, but they his siblings. He got to sit here and live with these motherfuckers who now feel like they stomachs touching. So now we feel like you ain't in this shit with us. You getting treated differently than us. Maybe we got all different dads. Maybe you got the one different dad or whatever, but which is why, like she kept saying though too, like in any situation like that, if me, it was only me and my brother, but if we got one burger, nigga, we splitting this drink down the middle and we both eat. But the responsibility wasn't to him to feed all of the kids, but like she was saying, if you're looking at it from what's best for my kid, and what's best for my kid is to also be able to take care of their brothers and sisters. Don't put them in a situation where they get an opportunity to even not even look down on them because it ain't looking down on them. It's just food. But for some motherfuckers, it ain't just food. If you ain't got no food, it ain't just food. You know what I'm saying? It's everything. Mm-hmm. Is it my turn? It's my turn to go? It's big fella. It's your turn, big fella. Okay, so then where does it stop? Because what's the difference between my, what's the difference between them looking at my, my son eating that burger and me dropping off some fresh clothes for him? And they dads ain't shit, so they wearing whatever they got. So now my son walking around looking fresh. Am I supposed to drop off bags for everybody too? Am no. I supposed to drop like, off Jordans like, to everybody? Like Shorty said this too. Like I don't even. I don't, shout out to Shorty because I didn't catch her name. Tell her we only accept five stars too. Mm-hmm. Um, when you got the brother sister dynamic, nigga, these is hand me downs. So the joints that you had that he's too big for or too small, like yeah, they that, pass it that off. Yeah. But this is what I'm saying. That's cool and all, but you still wearing my. That, but here's the thing. Now you still the same way you just said. The kids is looking at each other. Come on, dog. You know how these young boys is. They still going to be looking at him like, damn, I'm wearing my brother's hand-me-downs and he fresh all the time. Because now you wearing my sneaks that I... Listen, you wearing my what? sneaks that I didn't already ran through. I had them when they was fresh. You already wearing... Every time you see me... I, We're not it, talking listen, sneaks. We're not talking sneaks. Sneaks be okay. different. Yeah. Sneaks, <laughs> clothes, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Fresh haircuts, whatever. If I'm coming to pick up my young... Now I got to take all your kids if you got boys to go get their hair cut too. Nah, that's not that's what where, I'm where, that's my thing I is where does it where does it stop? Food is different because everybody needs food. You gotta have food to survive. Okay, you're okay, you're right. Go ahead. Can I go now? Food, okay, yeah, go ahead. Right. If your stamps click on the 11th, if you got four kids and you getting stamps for fucking four kids, bitch, you up. Why are we stop selling? How about this? Stop selling your stamps. How about make sure that you got enough food in the house to go from month to month? How about stop buying your cousin and them crabs and shit like that? Nobody is taking this bitch into accountability. And that's my problem. Food is essential. And that's why you getting food stamps for four kids. You getting some bread. You getting a nice amount of money. But here's the thing. Did you see her reply? The female's reply. You probably never saw that video. No, what was her reply? Jordy put a reply up there. Don't come on your reply video with the fresh bundles, safe full of makeup, looking like you about to go step the fuck out, but you just cussed this nigga out about dropping off McDonald's. Use a bum ass bitch. Manage your fucking pussy better. I'm sorry. No disrespect to the women. But here's the thing. Just like it need to be a lineup for about, it need to be some vetting on who can vote. It need to be a vetting on how many kids a fucking female can have. Because if you can't take care of your kids, you shouldn't have had them. Keeping so it a bit. So now there, I this is one of the things I hate that people always say. Let's go. Uh we just your wife tell you, oh yeah, I knew your birth uh, you know, I get paid next week. You knew my birthday was on the first, the 15th, the 30th. You knew that all month. You had mm-hmm. all month to prepare for this day. You know what I'm saying? So you knew them stamps ain't dropped to the 11th, which means 
when the 28th and the 26th, when you saw, ah, these Jones getting low and we running low, you got to start to, you got to start to manage your situation better. You got to start to manage your situation here's better. The thing. Did, you, did you manage your paycheck? <laughs> Because here's the thing, you can feed kids, I mean, you, you're gonna be feeding them bullshit, but you can feed them for the low. You can go to motherfucking, to a Dollar Tree. Dollar and Tree. Oodles and noodles Copy and that. fucking yeah. little bootleg cereal and all, and a bunch of shit, if you have to. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that you, come on, I can't bring, I can't drop my, so now basically I can't just swing by, drop my young boy off some food. You know what I'm saying? Like Unk was telling, Unk threw out a scenario saying, uh, shout out to Uncle B, you know, from the Bridge and the Gap podcast, you know, you know what I mean? He's, tr he, he's the man out here, you know what I'm saying? He ain't the king no more at his job. He's the king no true. more, damn. He, 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 he came to work and he see who the king is at Farmart, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Just throwing that, that out there. So you know he, 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 he gonna get there, he gonna get there, but he ain't there yet. <laughs> but he was saying, yeah, so, uh, oh yeah, my, my young boy, he going to, he, he running, he called me, say, I'm dad, I'm hungry. This day and the third, can you bring me some food? And like, I stopped him and I said, oh, there should never be a, if it, it's two parents, it should never be a situation that your son is calling you, telling you he's fucking hungry. Because if you calling me, telling, and like, and like I said, what homie should have did, I would have took that fucking video. I would have went down to motherfucking court, filed for an emergency petition, because now I feel like my child ain't eating. See, that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother time because niggas always act like they can't. No, nah, niggas always act like they can't go to court and like they don't want to fight for custody and all that. Y'all touched on that, but yeah, you know when, they, when, they, when niggas when, when niggas ready to have that conversation, call me, B. I'm ready. Copy because like I said, y'all touched on that on that episode. You know what I'm saying y'all find that it's the last uh, episode of the Bridging the Gap podcast. You know what I'm saying, but uh, you de y'all definitely start touching into that, and I'm like, yeah, niggas, that's a whole nother conversation. But niggas be scared of that. Niggas be scared like, to handle those responsibilities. That's what that all be about. I, I tell niggas all the time, because listen, I've been dealing with that shit for 16 straight years, my nigga. I'm almost, I'm almost out. You know what I'm saying? I got a year and a half and I'm out. <laughs> I mean, but listen. Yeah, the X in the days off the calendar, like you about to come like home. Mark, nigga. What? I'm having a party, nigga. You know how much extra bread that is a month, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that's a, I, I, I'm, I'm driving off a house note, nigga. That's a house note. <laughs> Man, nigga, I need that. Between <laughs> that and the daycare, you about to be up. <laughs> nigga, what? In the next, nigga, best and believe in the next year or two, a nigga's going to have an extra property somewhere. Best and believe resid residual income is coming um, very soon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's, the, that's the way right there. If my, th my thing is, I, I, I feel like it needs... It, it's not my responsibility. If you want to be okay, if you want to be a good nigga, if you want, if you, I mean, first of all, it really depends on what's your relationship with Shorty. Now, if I, if me and her was in a full blown relationship, and I'm coming through, I'm take, I'm, I'm showing love with the kids on yeah, the regular. Yeah, y'all talked about that. That was different. If like all the yeah. kids know me, and like as that's what I'm saying. The man and when they the house, see me, and, hey, yeah, Mr. Dan, yeah. what's going on? I'm not just gonna drop off. I'm just gonna not, yeah, not gonna drop off a six piece nugget. Hey, that's yes, what I'm saying. So damn, you gonna cut everybody's phones off now, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nigga. <laughs> Fuck that. That's why, I, that's why I can't do. The, that's why I can't do the family plan. My wife is not even. We're not even. Dog. Nigga, I'm on the family plan now. That's why I've been, Blair. nigga, my daughter, my, listen, my daughter, you know, I'm, I'm team Android. I don't fuck with the iPhones and shit. You, you, you know. You know what I'm saying? I, I my daughter. You know, I don't send you no <laughs> Apple link, nigga. Exactly. <laughs> my, daughter, my daughter comes, dad, I want an iPhone, this, that, and the third. And I'm like, well, why you want an iPhone? The reason that she wants an iPhone, this is the only reason, is because when her friend's phones get cut off, you know, if you got an iPhone, if your phone get cut off, as long as you got Wi-Fi, you can still iMessage. So you can text message your other people that got iPhones as long as you're on Wi-Fi. So I asked my daughter, I said, well, so that means your friend's phones are continuously cut off. She said, yeah. I said, let me ask you a question. Has your phone ever been cut off? <laughs> no. I said, how about be happy that you got a dad to make sure that your fucking phone ain't cut off every fucking month? I said, you want, you want, so basically I got to get you an iPhone now because your friend's parents ain't paying their fucking phone bill. 
Yeah, because now I got to be now I got to be insurance for everybody. It's a totally different situation there. <laughs> yeah, that's not cool. Yeah, like, come on now, fuck up, like dog, like get this shit. Nah, I'm cool. Like, at what point? It's not my responsibility to make sure you can text your your, your fucking friends. I'm sorry. Yeah, copy that. <laughs> Y'all better get, you better get on Wi-Fi and get on Instagram and just DM yeah, each other. Now, now, I mean, <laughs> now I bought, I bought an iPhone, but oh, yeah, look man. at this sweet. Look at this sweet. Hey, listen, Look at this sweet she, ass nigga. nigga. Bought the you, 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 see, you I know you be seeing my little post dog straight A student and she speak Chinese. The fuck? I gotta get it. I had to get her the iPhones. You know what I mean? It's the same shit. Cause what I do is I say no, then she slide the straight A report card and tell me like yeah, just so you know I had I had did that. <laughs> I knew I didn't buy this fucking iPhone. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? That's how she got me for a pair of Jordan ones on at Christmas. The, the some some not 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 the regular Jordan ones. The the full five hundred dollar Jones, like the oh, the, yeah. the yeah, the special oh, yeah. color Jones and she shit. Look like at that. you, bath them eyes. Hey, daddy, I need you going right for it. <laughs> Shout out to Face Wife, my sister, because she fucking she came in a clutch with a nigga that knew a nigga, and he had him in the garage <laughs> right on time for the low. What my man said on the wood, they Ferragamos, bro. How much they brought? Don't matter what I paid for them, nigga. Don't, Don't matter what I paid for them. <laughs> It don't matter. Shouts out to my man Dan from the BTG podcast. We're gonna close out episode 74. Appreciate you coming on, bro. We hey man, whenever dog, you know you hit me. I'm coming on, dog. This how shit. This is what we do, man. Philly support Philly all the time, man. Copy that. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle Podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H-Y-M-P-E. It's hype. It's not hype. I'm not geeked up. <laughs>